What's up? My name is Technoba here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how to fix this DLL missing error that you could be receiving whenever you're trying to fire up a game or a program or do something specific on your computer. If you see this error, don't worry, nothing bad is happening. All that's gone wrong is that your computer is missing a specific DLL file or it's become corrupt or unreachable for some other reason. These files are needed as they contain bits of code that programs use. Without them, they can't function properly. And these DLL files are distributed by Microsoft themselves through official installers. So if you've come across a video telling you to download DLLs, you definitely shouldn't follow them. You should always get the official installer from the official source to get the DLLs in them. Anyways, with that warning out of the way, let's go ahead and download the installer to fix this error. I'll open up the link in the browser. You'll find it in the description down below. You should see a page that looks something like this. Microsoft.com, Visual Studio 2015, 2017, 2019, and 2022. All you need to do is locate where it says x86, and then click the link to the right-hand side of it, and do the same for the next link, x64. Click the link here. Then, two files will be downloaded onto your computer, both around 25 or 24 megabytes. It doesn't really matter what way you open these, but you just need to open one, install it, and then the other. So for me, I'll run the 86 version first, as it's at the bottom of my list. When you see this pop-up, Microsoft Visual C++ 2015 to 2019 redistributable, all you have to do is click I agree, followed by install. Then when prompted for admin, click yes, wait for the installation to complete, and then click close. I'll head back to my browser, open the downloads again with Control J, or of course you can navigate across to the downloads folder, and open up the other file, in my case, the 64-bit version. Simply agree once again, install, click yes when prompted for admin, wait for the installation to complete, and then click close. It's that simple. You should be able to open up programs and games and use them immediately if they were giving you errors. However, if you're still receiving an error, try rebooting your computer and then try the applications once more. If you're still receiving errors, Hit the start button on your keyboard, then we'll be searching for CMD. Right click command prompt and then click run as administrator. Click yes when prompted for admin and inside of this window over here, type in SFC space forward slash scan now, one word. Hit enter and Windows will begin to check through its own files for any issues and errors. If it encounters a broken file, something that's missing, etc., it'll be downloaded from Microsoft's official website or brought from elsewhere on your computer to repair the missing files, folders, etc. At the end of this process, you'll be told if it's successful or not. And there we go. You can see mine ran properly without finding any issues. However, if it found issues, it'll tell you here and tell you if it repaired them. This DLL file is usually sent around with programs and installed with them. It will be placed in the same directory as where the game is located or program is located. It is of course also included with Windows by default, hence we did SFC scan now. If the program you're trying to launch still doesn't work properly at this point, you can try manually copying the file from the Windows directory into the game or programs directory and then testing it that way though this is sort of a last ditch effort to try and fix something. If you're still having issues past this point, you will need to contact the developer of the software for more information. So open up a new file browser and navigate across to where the program is located. I'll go to this PC, see program files 86. Now, as an example, I've pulled up a program here. This is Microsoft Edge and it doesn't have any of these files to begin with, but it's a good place to host an example. I'll put the programs folder across to the side. This could be a game folder, Steam, or any other program on your computer. Then I'll open up a new file browser. And on this one, we'll navigate across to this PC, C, Windows, and then we'll open up System32. Inside of System32, you'll need to scroll down and find Down Level. Then we'll open this up. And inside of here, you'll see a ton of API MS Win files that we can simply copy from here into our application folder, continue if prompted, and there we go. If you're told that you're overwriting files, don't worry, click OK and continue. Now, of course, this isn't the best solution to this, but more often than not, this will work properly. If available, you should try reinstalling the software or repairing the software through official means. If it's a game on Steam, try and repair the game by verifying game files. The same goes for Origin, Epic Games, and other programs alike. Anyways, 
that's about it for this quick guide. Thank you all for watching. My name is Techno, here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!